From a model to an iconic actress, Tanya Roberts showcased her versatility and passion for decades. She'll forever be remembered for the outstanding work she did in the movie industry and how she fiercely pursued her acting career in the 70s and 80s. But beyond that side of Tanya that the world saw, there was another side to her that most people didn't know. This video is going to reveal who the real Tanya Roberts was. But before we get into the video, make sure you do subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below saying, I subscribed. We're going to do our best to personally reply to your comment. Tanya was a daring go-getter. From the moment Tanya relocated to live with her mother in Ontario, Canada, she knew what she wanted for her life, and she was ready to go for it. Even though she was only 15 years old, she knew that her life was going to go towards the direction of her decisions. The one thing she was sure of was that she wanted to be a famous model, so she began to form a photo portfolio that carried proof of her modeling ability. All these were her way of planning for her modeling career. Now, she may not have become a model immediately, but she did continue to train herself until she was finally given an opportunity to become a fashion and cover girl in New York City. While she was living her dream of being a model, she began to develop a desire for acting, which led to her honing her skills and eventually attending auditions. It was in one of those auditions that she met the love of her life, Barry Roberts. They got into a relationship which continued to blossom until Tanya made up her mind to propose to him. Yes, it was unconventional, but she wanted Barry, and she wasn't going to let the love of her life slip away with or without the world's approval. This decision was the beginning of their beautiful marriage and lifelong partnership. A fierce actress took the road less traveled. Even though Tanya started out as a model in TV commercials, she came into film with full force in 1975 when she starred in The Last Victim, after which she began to gain recognition and influence in the industry. Shortly after, she landed yet another role, this time a comedy movie called The Yum Yum Girls in 1976. She was so exceptional that she was chosen for a role in a movie every single year after that, from appearing in cult movies like Tourist Trap to featuring in several TV pilots like Zumba Beach and Waikiki. Tanya was quickly becoming a Hollywood sensation, while her husband Barry continued to pursue his screenwriting career. Willing to try out various characters, even the ones that were challenging, Tanya ventured into adventure fantasy films like The Beastmaster and Hearts and Armour, which was actually Italian. Roberts had a way of making her characters come alive, like she did in the movie Murder Me, Murder You in 1983. What a lot of people don't know is that Tanya had a mind of her own and boldly declined any roles that she didn't want to take on, for reasons best known just to her. In 1984, Tanya actually refused to continue her role in the Mike Hammer series. She made a decision to focus on her next project, which was the movie Sheena, Queen of the Jungle. Out of all of Tanya's roles, her appearance as Bond girl geologist Stacy Sutton in the James Bond film A View to Kill in 1985 is one she is best known for globally. Her outstanding performance in this movie led to her nomination for a second Razzie Award. Tanya truly used her acting talent to the fullest. She gave her viewers a truckload of movies to remember her by, even in the 80s, movies like Night Eyes, a thriller where she boldly explored her feminine and romantic side. The 1986 American comedy film Body Slam was one of Tanya's works in comedy. Even though it was different from what she was used to, she played the role of Candace Vanderwagen with utmost skill. She also starred in Purgatory, a movie about a woman wrongfully imprisoned in Africa. Erotic thrillers were not off-limits for Roberts. She took the lead role in the erotic thriller Inner Sanctum in 1991 alongside Margot Hemingway in 1992. You can tell that she played her role incredibly well because the director, Fred Ray, publicly stated that the movie was indeed successful. She also played Kay Egan in Sins of Desire, where her character went undercover as a nurse to find out what really happened to her late sister. She later appeared on the cable series Hotline in 1995 and many other movies, featured in a video game. Well, it may interest you to know that in 1996, Chris Jones designed the Pandora Directive, which was the fourth installment in the Tech Murphy series of graphic adventure games produced by Access Software. Tanya Roberts was featured in the game as well. Amazing, right? She was chosen, among many, to revitalize Charlie's Angels. 
After the fourth season of the popular detective TV series, Charlie's Angels, the producers and directors of the movie began to search for a talent that would breathe life back into the show by replacing Shelley Hack. They held auditions with the hopes to find the perfect person for the role. Out of 2,000 candidates, Tanya was chosen to star in the fifth season as Julie Rogers, a streetwise fighter who used her fists more than her gun. As usual, Tanya played her role to the best of her ability, but it wasn't enough to save the show from declining. The producers were indeed disappointed due to their inability to spark interest of the media. The series continued to decline until it was finally canceled. Even though she couldn't save Charlie's Angels, she was still adored by her fans and people who saw her excellence beyond the unfortunate occurrence. Tanya always put her family first. Over the years, Tanya and her husband were faced with a shocking revelation that he had developed a terminal illness. Now, you can only imagine how much this affected her. They had grown together in Hollywood and faced several storms of life by each other's sides. This storm wasn't going to be any different. She decided to give up her role as Midge Pinciotti on the TV sitcom That 70s Show. Even though she loved and enjoyed her job, Barry meant a lot more to her and she was determined to stay by his side until he recovered. Unfortunately, he passed away in 2006, just a year after Tanya retired from acting. Barry's death took a toll on her, but she kept on pushing. An animal rights activist. Tanya's publicist often called her an animal rights activist due to her love for animals and her desire to free animals from being treated as commodities. She would often passionately voice her opinions and even show how much she believes the animal rights movement through her actions. Tanya treated her fans with respect. Now, if there's one thing Tanya's fans remember her for, it's her doting personality and caring spirit. When the world was facing one of the worst pandemics, COVID-19, she took to her social media pages to encourage her followers and spread positivity, an act that left hope in the hearts of many. A frequent hiker, unexpected death. Years before the advent of Tanya's fame, she had always been one to enjoy hiking, a hobby which she carried into her older years, a hobby that would reveal the medical condition that she had. On December 23, 2020, while Tanya was hiking, she suddenly began to feel pain in the lower area of her intestines, followed by difficulty breathing. She was rushed to the hospital where the diagnosis revealed that she had sepsis. Tanya fought for her life eventually failed. Although reports show that a rumor of her death was circulated on December 3rd, 2021, it was false. Roberts drew her last breath on December 4th, 2021. The phenomenal actress truly made an impact in the history of film in America and the world at large. So which of Tanya Roberts' life facts caught your interest the most? Well, let us know in the comment section below. Check out the next video in this series, and to say it will be incredible is an understatement. You truly don't want to miss this one.